Thanks so much for joining us again. This is the Healing Point Massage Therapy YouTube channel and joined as always by the owner, Liana Bergonia. Hello, Liana. Hi. So I have a little, yeah, so I have a little quote for you here, guys. So massage therapy has been shown to relieve depression, especially in people who have chronic fatigue syndrome by Andrew Gill. Wow. Um, so it's nice that um, yeah, we can help with massage right? and all the other Massage can help so many things. Well, I found a statistic that says only 17% of Canadians get massage therapy. This is according to the University Centre for Health Studies. That's not so much. That's not enough. <laughs> not enough. We all get need one. <laughs> we all need one. There's a lot of people that should come see you. Mm -hmm. You know, so a client may recognize that they need the massage, but do not know what type of massage to do. So what that's you know what's suitable for them, what they need. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's one thing that I was wondering about mm -hmm. because I know that you do relaxation mm -hmm. and deep tissue mm -hmm. massage. Yes. So why don't you tell the viewers at home what the difference between the two are? So deep tissue massage uh, focuses on the deeper layer of muscle mm -hmm. and connective tissue in your body uh, by using firm pressure and slow delivery strokes. So deep tissue techniques is slower, you know, deeper, you know, getting into that layer. And Swedish Swedish or relaxation massage, is what we call it, uses a system of long gliding, you know, strokes, kneading and friction techniques on the more superficial layer, so more the, the top layer of our, our skin, I mean, um, the muscles. And generally, generally in the direction of blood flow towards the heart. So sometimes combined with active, you know, and removing the joints and stuff. Yeah. So okay. Mm -hmm. So deep tissue. Does that mean uh, deep pressure or a lot of pressure for the mm -hmm. massage? No, actually, deep tissue means going through each layer of muscle and work the, the tissue individually. So each stroke has a purpose, uh, deep and slow strokes to get into each layer of the muscle. So we can really work work on like not just the superficial but the deeper layers. So sometimes it gets uh, we feel like deeper, but we're actually going into a deeper layer of muscle. That's why it can help, but it doesn't supposed to be um, like you know just just out of pressure. It's not about that. Yeah. Okay, so what's the goal of deep tissue massage? Yeah, so the goal of this deep tissue massage is um, to help break up scar tissue, uh, which is often cause of continuous pain and stiffness or from injury. So those um, those are those are scar tissues. So by doing either a cross fiber, like my my fiber is this, you're crossing them like that, mm -hmm. and or along with along with the fiber with deeper strokes like. Um, straight. Um, its intention is to release the chronic tension or chronic uh, patterns in the body. So yeah, that's the goal for, for that. So what are the benefits of deep tissue massage? So the benefit um, uh, is a very good for acute uh, chronic pain, you know, high blood pressure, or you know, just faster healing to muscle injury and um, overuse by increasing blood flow to the area. Okay, so we okay. did this before in our previous video and just reducing inflammation. So that's uh, the benefit of uh, our repetition massage. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what's the goal of relaxation massage? So uh, relaxation massage on the other hand, um, you know, because of the smooth and long strokes, it's very, very calm and relaxing. Um, when the muscles are relaxed, it brings more uh, blood flow. By, by increasing temperature of the soft tissues. Mm -hmm. So actually this stimulates the release of endor endorphins, um, serotonin, dopamine. These are all helpful hormones um, that lower our stress and improve relaxation. So wow. you release those with the uh, relaxation. Releases are happy massage. chemicals. Yes, happy chemicals. <laughs> and so what are the benefits of relaxation massage? Yeah, so the benefits, in if, uh, first, it promotes general relaxation, improves mm. improve circulation and range of motion, and relieve muscle tension, which uh, can help with you know sleep, right? You just you think better, you sleep well. So yeah, those are nice benefits of that. Excellent. So how do I know which type of massage I need, Leona? Yeah. So um, if you have an ongoing pain, you know, 
or, or, or have a job that requires repetitive movement or sitting or standing job, consider deep tissue massage to treat the area of tension and, and muscle that gets tight. And then, of course, if you're dealing with stress and get tense and you know, around your shoulder and neck, and deep tissue techniques might be a little, you know, too too much for you, or it's not your favorite. Um, be, uh, consider look, booking for a relaxation massage. Um, but you know, you, the therapist is, will tell you what you will need as well, because uh, you know, relaxation relaxation does not mean just all light strokes, right? Mm -hmm. So if your therapist actually found a trigger point, and that we know, you know trigger point at your back we know that when you release that you're going to help you relax too because you don't have attention there so um it will be explained why that needs to be addressed and treated and you know continue with this, with the style that you prefer right so with just a little bit of you know trigger point release there a little bit of um work on the scar tissue we can still be able to get you know a nice relaxing massage after wow. <laughs> so should deep tissue massage hurt um there may be a pain, right? So because it sh but it should be manageable and should never feel like you're bracing your your muscles. Um, that will be too much w when that happens. Um, actually, I always tell my clients to breathe, <laughs> to breathe with, especially when working with trigger points or any of those um, scar tissue uh, treatment techniques. You know, we, we just coordinate the pressure. Just as a client, coordinate what you feel to your therapist is so important. You will likely be sore for the next couple of days after your deep tissue massage. That's normal, make sure you drink lots of water as well. As you get regular deep tissue massage though, your muscle will get used to it and it's not gonna be as painful as your first treatment. So as okay. you go regularly, it will be a nice, <laughs> nice kind of massage instead of just being hurt. So get a regular. Deep so how massage. often is regular? You say regular massage. Yeah. Um, how often should I get a deep tissue or relaxation massage? Yeah, so depending on if there's a chronic pain going on, you know, come, we usually advise come in once a week or tw uh, every two weeks for four to six sessions to help treat the area, to stay specific on there. And then your ear therapist can also advise to go twice a month or once a month, depending, depending on your progress because mm -hmm. sometimes it's different for everyone. So, and then, then there's a maintenance massage. It's when you get that once a month massages that where you just maintain it and then you keep it, keep up with stretches and exercises to stay feeling better. So it's nice that clients sometimes they like, I hope, I hope like one day you don't have to deal with all the painful trigger points. And like, you're gonna get there. Just, just maintain that. Just get that regular massages. Keep yeah, coming regular. for regular massages. Yes, yeah. Rather than just, you know, regular for a month and then coming in next year, not, that's not very good. <laughs> Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much. I know we learned so much about the difference between relaxation and deep tissue mm -hmm. massage. Yeah. Um, if you're interested in experiencing the difference, you can come to Healing Point Massage mm -hmm. Therapy. They'd be more than happy to um, give you one of each. Yes, absolutely. And you can always call us 780-569-3838 or book online at Healing Point Massage. Thank you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And they should definitely like and subscribe to this mm -hmm. channel. Yes, absolutely. Yes, All thank right. you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.